Thank you, President. Uh, my question is for the Minister for Emergency Services. Uh, nalox naloxone nasal spray can reverse the life-threatening effects of a known or suspected opioid overdose. It is easy to administer and it is life-saving. We have just heard today in the media that Western Australian police can now carry nal naloxone, sorry, problem with that one, naloxone spray uh, following the lead of many jurisdictions overseas. But of course, police are not the only first responders. And as we know from locations like Frankston and North Richmond, quite often it is our fire services who are first on the scene in an overdose. So I asked the Minister, has she given any thought to equipping Fire and Rescue Victoria personnel with naloxone for this purpose? Minister. Thank you, President, and I thank Mr Edishank for his question um, and indeed his acknowledgement of our hard-working first responders. Um, often, regardless of which agency it is, they turn out for people turn out to Victorians that are in need. Um, there are a few examples of where um, particularly our firefighters carry um, equipment in relation to responding to health needs. Um, I haven't given your direct questions. Have you given consideration to meloxicide in relation to what firefighters might carry? And um, I, I haven't given specific um, consideration to that. Um, there are trials of other um, equipment that our firefighters are um, are, that their trucks are equipped with, and there's obviously a lot of training that goes in relation to that. So I'm not saying no, um, but uh, um, lo a lot of conversations before we expand the current trial, which has only just started, to other provisions of healthcare.